Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura and you're watching Thursday Threads. I'd gone to Pins and Needles, which I believe is out of business now. They, they, she may still be doing an online thing, I'm, I'm not sure. But she was clearancing out her shop and she had these big plastic shoebox things. And they were just stuffed full of fabric. They were the remnants, you know, different things, leftover scraps. And I think it was $12. And I'd bought it. And I'd been thinking, well, what a challenge it would be. Okay, yeah, there we go. And this actually had been a little bit fuller. I used out of it some. To see what I could make, challenge myself. Well, since I seem to be on kind of a crazy quilt kick right now, I thought this would be perfect. But I'm going to use a different method. So don't go away. I had a lot of fun making up my own, you know, basically the stack and whack, uh, slice and dice, crazy quilt. This time I decided I wanted to use my Aggie quilt. So I went to Hyder Hangout up in Cleveland and I bought the six and a half inch crazy quilt die. When I first got sick, uh, we didn't think I'd be able to sew. And I was so weak, I, it was just nightmare trying to cut. And my cutting was very inaccurate. So my husband, sweet as he is, he bought me an Accu quilt and some dye so at least I could, you know, do something until I got a little stronger. So if you've ever wondered why I cut sideways so that I could walk along with it, because if I try to go long ways I don't have as much strength out there and I don't have as much control. So what is an Aggie quilt? This is my Aggie quilt. This was purchased back in 2013 so it is not one of the electronic motorized ones it's the hand crank. They've come a long way there's new ones where they you press a button and it just automatically goes through. There's super wide ones where you could do two dies across. This is just your basic starter model, I guess. So let's let's put it to work. Well, I went through my fabrics. M most of this is from the bag where I got it. It's a big lump. Surprise bag that I picked up and I just cut them in 10 inch squares and the reason I did that is because the die itself is about 10 inches square and I love that they've got it all lettered out so you know what pieces go where so I've gone ahead and made some post-it notes with my letters and set them around in the order as they show up on my Thank you, Quill, because this is one where pieces are very specific. And I'm just going to take a couple pieces. So you can tell I left the selvage on on that one, because it doesn't matter. It's good. Let's see. This is a nice one from uh, that bag of fabric that I got. Those two bags of fabric that I got, actually. And I did get into my stash and to pick up a few more just to sort of supplement it with some plain colors. But I will tell you, I really like the fabric. There was some that was not usable. There's some that it was damaged, but with this, it, it's okay. It doesn't matter. See how many pieces have I got on there? Two, three, four, five. Perfect. I'm going to put my mat over it. And then I'm just going to crank away. And it wants to stick 
to the mat. But that's okay. I'm just going to get all of these picked up. So those are my A's. This is the part I haven't perfected yet. It's the whole getting off there. And once you remove all the strings, this is what you have. And double check to make sure you haven't, uh, you know, you're not hanging on to any. And then I'm going to take these off of my die and match them up with their corresponding post-it note. And there you have it. So I'm going to find some sort of a clip or a pin and I'm going to pin all these together with their corresponding letter. So I'll have little stacks of all my different letters and then I'll start putting them together. But I think I need to, to shoot a few more through. And then we'll start sewing seams. Isn't that cool? I am going to save these. because I do have another project in mind that I think the little snips and leftovers will be useful for. So I am going to save those. This is fun, and I decided I was going to stagger it instead of doing rows by rows. So we're going to stagger it a bit and make it really look crazy. Too much fun with these crazy quilts. This one was a lot of fun. I thought it went very quickly. A lot of options. You know, you can just do them where you match up your seams or you can stagger the seams to give it an even more of a uh, of a crazy crazy quilt and always look on the back of your packaging because they give you some more ideas so this is always good 
And it says a free pattern download. Block assembly instructions are available. So all that's going to be online. There is a danger. Some of the pieces, you know, if you're not clipping them together, well, if I didn't clip them together and keep them very organized, I would have had a complete mess. And there were a couple times when pieces got away from me. So that was one I've got to be careful on. But this is definitely something that you could do, uh, have a group. You know, maybe have one lady or gentleman have one quilter doing blocks A and B. Another quilter doing H and I. And you could really knock out, you know, th this would be a great assembly line process. It could be a lot of fun to do. And you don't need huge pieces. And don't forget your local thrift shop. Goodwill, Samaritan Center, uh, any of those. And, and especially your, the littler ones, the smaller ones. They likely will have remnants uh, where people have donated. They, they don't need that fabric anymore, so they put it in there and you can usually get those at a really reasonable price sometimes your quilt shops will have grab bags and those are always fun well i'm awfully glad that you decided to join us today as i have a lot of fun with my crazy quilts don't forget to come back just click that subscribe button and the bell check us out on facebook Sewing and Crocheting for Beginners, Crazy Dave's Crew, and also online at cdc.com. We look forward to seeing you next time right here on Crazy Dave's Crew. Thanks so much for watching.